Alright, so what's going on YouTube? Snaffle here, back with another mukbang video. Um, but before we get into that, we're actually gonna... So I need you guys' help with this like little experiment. I'm trying out a new camera that I plan to vlog, vlog on later. So I'm gonna do like a little vlog intro type thing for this video. And just let me know how everything looks with this camera, sounds, all that good stuff. Cause yeah, I'm trying to test it out. And so yeah. Alright, so let's start heading out. I might be a little overexposed right now, I'm not too sure. Oh, uh, it's called what, two zone? Yeah. Two zone chicken experience. 20 minutes? God damn. That's far? Huh? That's far? I mean, it's not far, but... I feel uh, like that's probably as far as the other one, no? The Tsundam Sun? Yeah. No, nah, I think this is a little dip deeper. Oh, I don't know, maybe. All right, we're off. All right, so we finally made it to the spot. And funny enough, the spot that we we're going to right now, originally that wasn't a plan. We were gonna go to this dumpling place called, um, what was it called there? Young dim sum. Young dim sum. They sell, you know, um, dumplings and uh, pork buns and all that stuff. But they closed at 7.30. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. We, it was too late. So, yeah, we ended up coming to this other place that we wanted to try called um, Two Zone Chicken. It's a Korean chicken spot. And they got other food as well, but that's mainly what they're known for. Um, so that's what we're going to grab and some other stuff. I don't know. Um, I'm going to try the chicken and some other stuff that I seen. Uh, I, that I took a quick glance of uh, the other day. So yeah, we're gonna see why not what we order and um, yeah, we'll see you guys once we get back home. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so what up? Welcome back. Um, we finally got the food and everything. And man, the only thing I hate about doing these videos, I will say, is having to set up because the food's getting cold. We have to go back and warm it up. It's just a whole fucking thing. But anyway, we back. So yeah, we ended up getting a few things. You know, we got the chicken and some other items. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna basically try everything that we got. We're gonna rate each thing. And we're gonna talk a little bit about it and see if we like it or not. And yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, my girl is right here as well. By the way, she's gonna be eating with me and rating stuff with me. All right. So what should we try, baby? What should we try? Okay. Her name is Flower yeah. Villain, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna tell them what we got first? Oh yeah, I guess I'll show you guys what we got first. We got um, which one was this? The I think that's the hot and spicy, hot and right? Spicy. I think this is a hot and spicy uh, boneless wings. We got boneless, by the way, just because it was cheaper. And yeah, I was just in the mood for boneless, you know? And we got cheese to bulky. Is that how you say it? This looks pretty fabulous. I'm not going to lie. Let it focus. Yes, sir. That looks pretty damn good. The, this one, the I little don't weenies. So talk, so talk or something. I'll probably put it right here if we butcher it too bad, but. I'm so sorry if I'm saying it. Yeah. It's like oh, little yeah. weenies, basically. With rice cake. With rice cake? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They know that this is the bulgogi uh chicken wings um i will say i don't like onion and this has hella onion it smells fucking oniony but i'm not gonna eat that part so <laughs> yeah I, i'm just i don't like onion and on anything and then also this is a side little thing that we got we got Lacroix. i've never tried Lacroix. i've never tried this brand of drink yeah we're trying to just find like you know healthier healthier alternatives and stuff and we'll get into why You'll probably see the title, but anyway. Yeah, so we're going to be also rating that as well. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's dig in. We're going to take a sip of the drink. Cheers, baby, because I'm a little parched. This is hibiscus flavor, by the way. Jamaica for the Mexican folks. Okay, not what I expected. <laughs> like. I expected it to taste more like hibiscus. Like, I, 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 it does I, taste like hibiscus. Like, it does. It has the scent, but. That's interesting. Ugh. You don't like it? Mm -mm. It's not like nasty, like it's drinkable, but it's just, I don't like it. What do you think? I like it. Hopefully you guys can hear. Okay. Um, It's rated out of five. Okay. What would you give it out of five stars? I would give it a four. A four? Yeah, because I like sparkling drinks. Okay. But you don't, so. Yeah, this is like a, honestly a two, honestly. Like, because it's drinkable. <laughs> it's not like terrible or like super nasty is just it does nothing for me <laughs> yeah no. so right now we're gonna be trying the little weenies and oh fun fact we did try a place similar to this it was called the uh, love duck uh which one did we go to it was over there in um was it anaheim anaheim it was somewhere in orange county i forget yeah. where but yeah we ended up trying it out and it's kind of similar and it was pretty damn good so yeah Cheers. I think we gotta have to put it more to the center wait, of the. Wait, wait. There you oh, go. Here go. Okay. So, or the rice cakes no, too. The rice cakes on top. I'm gonna try that first. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's cool. 
I like the sauce on top. Yeah, the sauce is good. I don't think I've ever had a rice cake though. That's what this is. Oh, okay. I lied. I did try it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, so like out of five, that's like a four, honestly. It's pretty damn good. I give it a four and a half. Okay. My girl gives it a four and a half. All right, next up, we're going to try out the, um, I think this is the hot and spicy wings. All right, baby, you want to go ahead and grab one? And hey, that has like a little nice kick to it, the little weenies. Yeah, it's good. Four. I'm going to try it like this first, and then we're going to use some Wingstop branch. All right, here goes the hot and spicy chicken wing. Does it smell spicy? Yes. Hmm. Not do them to me. All right. I don't know what to think about this one. Oh yeah, it's definitely spicy. That's interesting. Holy shit, that's spicy. What the that's fuck? Spicy as frick. Oh fuck! <laughs> I fucked up, man. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's too spicy for me. You know what's kind of funny? That's crazy. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's crazy right now. The LaCroix made it worse. And remember I told you, I was like, I don't know how spicy that is. Hopefully it's like regular spicy, but it's definitely not regular spicy. Fuck no. I did tell you Korean food is spicy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Woo. I don't think I want to try those again, even with the ranch. I like these though. But they're good. But, but they're spicy. But what do you think about the chicken? I wasn't too impressed with the chicken, to be honest. It was kind of like whatever. It's, but I do like the sauce. I mean, honestly, I didn't hate. I didn't hate it that much, but it is pretty mid. So, what do you give those those out of five? Maybe like a two and a half. Damn, I was gonna give it like a three because it's just mid. But so yeah, three out of five. We're gonna try the what is it? Taboki, cheese taboki. Oh, this looks good. Check that out, folks. Oi. She's dancing right now. She's dancing. I love it. Yeah, that was pretty good. It tastes so good. Mm -hmm. You know what it reminds me of? My bulldog ramen. Really? Yeah. Because like of the sauce flavor and the like sauce. It. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I love it. She loves that. Those. What is it called again? Bulldog. Bulldog. You know those that those with the pink packaging? Yeah, those are pretty. Well, I don't. I haven't tried them yet. I know. She raves about them all the time, though. She really loves them. I had to grab some water because that chicken was too damn spicy. But this is pretty bomb. I like this. This is pretty good. <laughs> Leo wants them. <laughs> all right, cats in here. I also like the texture and the sponginess of it. Yes, it's like it's so good. Mm -hmm. Out of it's, five, what do you give it? I give it a five. I feel like this is something I would like to snack on. Me too. I give it like a, a five as well. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. That's. That's like my favorite thing so far that we that we ate. It's like the perfect amount of spice. Now let's try the bulgogi chicken wings. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Here it goes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. It's not bad. I like it. Same thing. My issue with the first one, the mm. chicken is just like it's it's all right, you know, but the flavor is good. All right, right now let me try it with the Wingstop Ranch. Maybe that'll boost it up for me. You know me, I love ranch. Yeah, the wing stop does enhance it, but not by much, honestly. I think I'm also give it like a three, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's like the chicken to me is like I don't, I don't know because if, if we had to reheat it, and that's why, but it's just not hitting. It's not juicy. Mm -hmm. It's not like like to me every time I, I think about chicken, I just think about canes. Canes is fucking delicious. <laughs> that chicken is. Oh, but yeah, baby. But what do you think? I give it a three out of five. I give it a three too, cause it wasn't like that bad. I don't think it's dry either, though. It's not dry. It's I guess it's not like super. It's not flavorful. I don't know. I, yeah. Or, <laughs> is that not the word? Well, what's the word no, here? Like, I think it's like it's just not as juicy and tender as the ones from Kings. But yeah, overall, I mean, I don't think I would go back. Anytime sooner only if I was really craving this specific type of meal, you know how the love the one that one was pretty That one was definitely that one was way better. Their chicken was so good yeah. uh, No, hate uh, to you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's just it was okay. It's nothing. Yeah, I, I think it's just okay. What do you think? Um, 
I don't hate it. I don't think it's the best. The Love Duck one that we went to was like that was good really on. good. Their chicken was like way juicier. Super, f- all their food was flavorful. Um, but it was kind of expensive. But anyways, mm. I feel like comparing that one to this one, this one's pretty like mid. But since we don't have anything like that up here, yeah, exactly. I would consider going back for like. You know, like this, the taboki. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if we if we tried it fresh there, maybe yeah. like I think I would give it like a higher higher rating. Rating, yeah. Oh, okay. Now let's just get into like, you know, some topics that I wanted to talk about for the video. That's what we usually do. We're just gonna keep eating. You know, um, my girl will probably chime in here and there. Um but yeah. So the day that I'm recording this, it's uh it's a Friday. Uh, May 17th, right? I ended up calling off from work because I was like, fuck yeah. I, just, <laughs> I know I was going to use a sick day uh, pretty soon because I was just like, damn, I just want a little three-day weekend. And then my girl was like, yeah, you shouldn't. And I was like, all right, fuck it. And so I ended up, you know, calling off and shit. Why are you putting me on blast? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I did put her on blast. Um, and then, oh, we ended up going to the gym uh, pretty early in the day, which was nice because when we go to the gym right now, it's like after I get off of work. So, you know, I get off of work at like 3.30. I get home by like 4.00. By the time we get ready, you know, we go to the gym. It's like always oh, usually around 4.30 and we go for like an hour, an hour and a half, depending. But it just felt nice being able to go earlier because it was like way emptier. Because sometimes when we go at that time but that I get off of work, it's like super packed and it's like, like I get it, you know. But it's like, it's just, you know, we can't get a good workout in sometimes. Like sometimes the machines are always, like they're just always being used. Like, and yeah, so it was, it was pretty nice. So that's how we started off the day. Um, what do you think, baby? Like, liked it too? Yeah, it was nice. I think. Finally being able to like do a whole routine without feeling like we have to wait so long felt good. It's because, yeah, because the other day um we ended up working out, but it just was not satisfying just because like, yeah, that day was really crowded. And we I think also we were just kind of a no dad day. So when we went, we just went for like, I think like what, like <laughs> we literally went for like what, five minutes, <laughs> five minutes or like, tw- I don't know. It was like it wasn't that for, long. Like, Ten minutes. It was super... Yeah, it was pretty quick. We went out, and I was like, you know what? You just want to go home? No, because I wasn't feeling it today. I was like, yeah. So we left. I just don't want to get to that level, you know, where I just get, like, you know, like, maybe I get fatter or, like, you know, or just, like, you know, without working out and, like, doing exercise for so long, and then, you know, it's just going to be harder to, like, you know... Oh, my God. I said that shit <laughs> so many fucking times. I'm sorry. I <laughs> sorry. I know. I kept saying that. So, yeah, one of the main topics that I wanted to talk about today is, like, you know, like going to the gym, working out, you know, exercising, you know, you know, you know, health and stuff like that. That's just something that I've been adding to my routine. I was like going to the gym after work and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's just been really nice. Like we've been able to tell the difference already. And it's just, yeah, it just feels really good. You know, uh, we're in our thirties now and it's like, you know, kind of crazy to think that, you know, I'm 31 and like, I just been thinking about that a lot recently, like, you know, seeing older people sometimes and, you know, it's harder, you know, to work out when you're older and like, yeah. So I just wanted to get on top of it basically. And so I'm glad like it did take a while because we, we did what we worked out what last year. I think it was. Yeah, we did work out last year, but it wasn't like consistently at all. And then at one point we just kind of stopped going and then we talked about it again and we ended up going to a different gym. To try it out. Uh, well, we were going to Planet Fitness, and now we're going to Twenty Four, basically. Yeah, we got the the membership. What back in January? I think it was like February. Like February, like something like that. And we even told us it was like, all right, we're gonna get the membership, or we're gonna get on it. But like, it still took us like a little while because we didn't go for like what a month or two, <clears throat> I think. I think it was like a month and a half. Yeah, because we even bought the membership. We we took the little, you know, we did the little like. The, yeah, tour, we the tour and we never we didn't even go back right away i don't think no we didn't so yeah you see it was just like about like you know just like just doing it and like be like all right you know we're ready like and yeah we just i don't know how the conversation came up but yeah we were just like talking like all right you know like we want to reach these health goals and like yeah what do you think yeah well i guess because you know like I don't want to get, like, into it, like, a lot. But, like, basically, since, like, I found out I had PCOS, Mm -hmm. it made me, like, feel like I had to really get on my health. Yeah. And I think that's kind of how we started. Yeah, I think so. Talking about it. But 
It feels really good. So yeah, that's like the new thing that I've been trying to like stay consistent with because it is hard, you know. But I think now we're now we're doing better, and now we're you know we're trying to eat a little better, this and that. So yeah, we're just really trying to you know, you know, take care of our health and all that. And um, but yeah, I can already tell the changes because I, you know, I'm a pretty skinny dude. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna post the pictures, but I took you know like a progress pic pretty much, and dude. I have a beer, it's like pretty much like a beer belly. Like my my belly got pretty big because like you know I'm a skinny. I'm, I'm pretty skinny, but I was like way skinnier before. And at one point we just were we were just drinking a lot. That's what that's right there. What fucked me up? I was just drinking a lot. We were drinking like every weekend. Like we were just drinking a lot, like way too much, you know. And then um, cause even my face, it's not you can't tell now, but it, my face was puffier. But then um. Once I started noticing that, I cut off the beer for like a while, and you can tell like I was already losing my stomach a little bit, like my cheek, my cheeks weren't as puffed up, and then but my stomach is still pretty like I, like I said I don't show I don't know if I'm gonna show a picture because I don't know if I'm like kind of nervous to show myself yet, but yeah I took a picture of myself like side you know a side picture and dude it's big and I was just like damn so that's my goal with the gym is like you know to try to lose my stomach you know get a little bigger not too big nothing crazy I'm just trying to get you know more like cut. Um, what's another like more? Yeah, just a little, you know, a little more built. Yeah, cause I'm a pretty skinny, you know, like. Well, hey, it's not looking too bad. I must say so myself. <laughs> what else? What else? Um. Well, the system of the showdown. The system, system of the show. Oh my god. <laughs> I meant the system. Wait, system of a down. Oh my god. I, I was about to say it again. So we're gonna be going to the system and system of a down and death tone show. It's gonna be in San Francisco, and there's other groups that are gonna be there, but I don't, I don't even know them too, honestly. The other ones, I guess they're up and coming probably. Or I don't know. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be sick seeing Deftones and System of a Down live. And you haven't been to San Francisco. And I haven't been to San Francisco, so pretty exciting just because you know it's gonna be my first time there. She's been there. How many? You've been there like a few times already. Few times already. Yeah. So she's been there. I haven't. So it's gonna be my first time, and then, but it's gonna be our first time seeing Deftones and System of a Down. Huh? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna be oh my god, it's so crazy, dude. Yeah, I can't wait. It's, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be dope. Ooh, so this is a topic we just came up with right now, and I'm gonna be talking about the Sakamoto Days uh, manga. It's gonna be adapted to an anime in 2025, I believe, but it's gonna be done through Netflix. Now I'm a little worried about that because things on Netflix. I mean, so far a lot of the shows that have been coming out there on there have been like animated shows. They've been pretty good. I feel like right. Not too bad. They haven't been too bad. So. They better not fuck this up because Sakamoto Days, if you've read it, this, for it to be an anime, it has to be a certain animation and a certain, like, style to it. If they give, if it doesn't fit the style or anything, it's, I feel like it's just gonna throw the show off. Because, like, if you, if you read the manga, it's so fucking, like, it's so fucking steezy, like, so much style to it. It's so, oh my god, I love the, the character designs, the clothing, the fucking fight, dude. Sakamoto Days is gonna be like the next biggest fucking anime, I promise you. And I've been ever since I started reading it, because I started reading it, uh, reading it when it first came out, and I was telling like, um, I was just telling like everybody like on Twitter, like, yo, you gotta read Sakamoto Days, shit's sick, like. And I've been meaning to like collect the manga because I've been reading it through my phone or whatever. And that's a series that I actually want to own because it's that fucking good. Sakamoto Days is like. It's like, you know, it's goaded for sure. Also, I'm still currently playing through Final Fantasy fucking 7. I'm like a hundred and something hours in, but I'm already on chapter 13. I think there's only 14 chapters from what I heard. So yeah, I think I'm nearing the end. So right now, I think I'm just going to get through the main story and like worry about side stuff later on because that's how I've pretty much been taking a while because I've just been doing like everything. And also, but I just haven't really been playing it consistently, so I was just kind of playing it here and there when I could. I fucking love it. It's my game of the year so far. Combat, the story, the characters, dude. This is so much better than the than, the, than remake. I don't think I would be able to go back to remake after this. Like, I think this just fucking killed it with this one. They like, yeah, they went crazy. So, and I heard part three is probably it's already it's already getting worked on. So we'll probably get it in the next three years. Someone, oh, Maximilian said probably in 2027 because that's gonna be the thirtieth. 30th anniversary so like you know that'd be perfect so but yeah i think that's about it for this one um no questions because nobody asked questions in the last video um because you, you know i usually do a q a towards them but i don't mind like if you guys don't ask any questions or if i don't get questions you know like because you know i don't mind because i'm still gonna come up with topics and you know make a whole video you know doing the mukbang or whatever and the questions i'll just do them here and there you know maybe 
You'll see me in the next video. Maybe. You heard it here, folks. Maybe she'll be on the video. So I'm going to try to convince her, right? Maybe. Maybe. She's a big, she's a big maybe. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for coming through. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know you know, if you guys have any questions or some topics I should talk about. That could be a thing, too. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace. Are you one of those so-called badasses?